Good morning. My name is Maria Palazzi. It is Wednesday, May 6th, and welcome to broadcast of Channel 2 News. The Mama and Papa Drama Scholarship applications for seniors are available in the guidance office. Deadline for submissions is May 12th. The Drama Club will present the hit musical, Godspell, on the LHS stage with the opening performance on Thursday evening. Curtain is 7.30. Cost for students on the first night will be $3, and all adult tickets are at a, at a reduced cost of $6. There will be three more performances, Friday night at 7.30 and Saturday at 2, as well as the final performance on Saturday night, also beginning at 7.30. Cost for students is $5, and adults are 8 Please plan to attend and be prepared for some great laughs. Attention sophomores, are you interested in planning prom? If so, please meet Mrs. Angel in Mrs. Angelias' room in room 403 this Thursday, May 7th at 1215. Spring interns, there is an internship meeting on Thursday, May 7th in Mrs. Ward's room during advisory, 1215 to 1245. Important information about end of internship and responsibilities. Student elections update. If you are a student in grades 8 to 11 and want to run for LHS Student Council, you must see your class advisors to complete a representative registration form and sign up on the LHS Student Council Bulletin Board by Friday, May 15th. If you want to nominate a classmate as a class representative, see Mrs. Platt to complete a Student Council nomination form. If you are interested in taking driver's education class and you are 16 years old by August 20th, 2015, please come to the office to give your name and to express your interest. In sports and varsity baseball and softball teams will travel to Groveton at four, four o'clock games. Team members are dismissed at two. The varsity girls tennis team will travel to Stevens for a four o'clock match. Team members are dismissed at 1.15. Last Friday at 11 a.m., there, there was an awards ceremony for Mildred Lakeway Elementary School, Daisy Bronson Middle School, Littleton High School, and the Hugh J. Gallen Center, Career and Technical Center. Virginia Berry presented all the schools with the Circle of Excellence Award at the Littleton High School. This award recognizes schools who are providing their best educational opportunities for students possible. Littleton has shown a proficient growth in standardized test, testing and has excellent attendance records. The school has worked hard to get their students where they are now and all that work is paying off, shown last year when the high school had a 100% graduation rate, reducing its dropout rate from 19% back in 2002. Congrats to the students and teachers. And now to Mrs. Melanson with the Crusader Corner. Welcome to Crusader, this week's Crusader Corner edition just want to uh, echo uh, Maria's uh, report on the Circle of Excellence Award, which was so exciting to be around. Uh, we had about 800 people in the gym from um, pre-K right up straight through to uh, seniors and some community members, certainly some dignitaries. It was just exciting to um, celebrate all our fine work and um, be able to uh, recognize uh, those folks that were um, involved with that. We also are involved with commencement week activities, and during the commencement week activities, we are preparing for the trip, we are getting ready for uh, a week full of events, so it's busy for the class of 2015, which is about to be uh, alumni. Also, the play Godspell will run from May 7th, May 5th to May 7th, uh, sorry, May 7th to May 9th, so please check out the times on the website for that. It's also Teacher Appreciation Week, and during Appreciation Week, we've had Teacher Appreciation Week, we've had all kinds of activities, various clubs and organizations uh, involved in the morning um, celebrating uh, all the decisions people made to go into teaching. On a personal note, I've been a teacher or been in education for over 30 years, it's, a, it's certainly a fine profession, and I'm, I'm very lucky to be surrounded by such talented folks. Thank you. Last Thursday, we had an assembly around 1.30 to see Peabody Music Choir from Massachusetts. They did a performance at Profile School the morning of and continued to our school for an after-lunch show. 
They were on their way to Canada for a competition and stopped along the way to perform at schools throughout NH. the WMUR Channel 9 weather desk, we are looking at a week of wonderful weather. Reaching a high of 77 today with lows in the mid-40s tonight. Tomorrow, a stretch of 80 degree weather all the way through Mother's Day. Some evening showers and thunderstorms close out, close out the holiday weekend with temperatures returning to cooler levels with the start of the week. Next week, it looks like it's going to be a bit cooler and wetter than we've seen. Two days ago, Monday was May 4th, a special holiday created by Star Wars fans. But this year's May 4th is even more special due to the new trailers everyone seems to be swooning over. The new trailer was released on April 16th, 2015. Star Wars The Force Awakens is coming to you December 18th for all you Star Wars fans out there, and it is looking like Harrison Ford is making a comeback with another appearance. The trailer contained lots of action sequences and brought back some old memories. Hope you get to see the newest of the Star Wars series. That's all for today. This has been Channel 2 News, and I'm Maria Palazzi, signing off.